Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm for the classic, and welcome to Pin Chart. So for today, what I do have in here is Hellbound, a game developed by Cybot Studios, and it is using Unreal Engine 4. Well, Cybot Studios, uh, the type of games that they do develop, uh, I mean, the scenarios which they do develop the games are always kind of set in hell, or it looks a little bit hellish as hell. And that's about it. So this game wants to be kind of a 90s shooter, just like the old Dooms and uh, Wolfenstein. Or Wolfenstein, I don't know. So you know what I mean. It's a classic shooter. It wants to be a classic shooter for a very low price with a very frenetic gameplay. So let's take a look on the requirements. I mean, on the graphical settings, I'm sorry. So I'm playing these with the load settings at 720p using 75% of resolution scaling. So keep in mind that uh, I'm using dual channel memory, which makes a huge difference in the performance of the Intel GPU. So for the minimums, whoa, that is specification in here for Intel GPU. So it says that the minimum, it is an Intel HD 500 and 30, which we are pretty much at the same level, but for the memory, they say that the minimum it is 4 gigs. I disagree. I think if you are using an Intel, you should have at least 8, and I also do recommend 16 for this game. So, I like the usual, I decide to test the game with multiple different settings, although I always stick up with the low settings. So, at low settings with 720p, my performance was sometimes under 30 frames per second, which is not good. So I decide to apply 75% of resolution scaling, which is uh, the settings that I will be using throughout this video. And the performance, it was something in between the 30 to 60. So it was rather acceptable. It was less pixelated than 50%. But 50% of resolution scaling, scaling granted me pretty much an experience at 60 frames per second with a drop here and there. So results were good, I mean for 50% of resolution scaling, but for higher resolution scaling like 75% uh, it is acceptable and for native resolution 720p low settings it performs bad, especially because this is a very fast paced game, so having frame rates like locked or as close as possible to 60 frames per second it is recommended, but staying at 50% resolution scaling just makes the game even to look worse than it is today. And that's one of my issues with this game, it is its graphics. Doesn't matter if you go with the maximum settings or just simply minimum settings, this game doesn't look that good. I know that probably hell, if it exists, it might not look very beautiful and colorful. But still, comparing Doom to this, Doom, it is way less demanding and it is way, way more prettier. It seems that the job they have done with the graphics in this game, it is not really good. Unless they really wanted to make the game to look like from the 90s. But for that case, they could go with the visuals of Iron Fury just by developing the engine on the build engine. Which is the engine that Duke Nukem and all that kind of games um, did use for their FPS stuff. Well, in case Doom, they did use ID Tech, I guess. So, I guess that's that that I, I want to talk about the performance. It's unimpressive, visually, whatever the settings you go with. Even on the minimum settings, all right, or even on the maximum, it looks bad on all my PCs. And performance, it is disappointing. But, I mean, what about the game? Is this any good at all? So Hellbound, uh, like I did told you at the very beginning of the video, it is a 90s game. So it tries to be kind of high-end fury or the classic Doom. And it is an extremely cheap game, so you can get this game for $12.99 at the time of this video. So that's absolutely nothing, alright? It's really, really a cheap game. So I thought that the game was cheap because the visuals were not really interesting and the optimization was not there. But in fact, the reason why this game it is so cheap, it is because it finish off really quickly. So, so you can finish off this game in about two hours. So you just buy the game, start to play the game, and for some reason you have a kind of a, a queer afternoon where you don't have nothing to do, and you start to play the game, and at four o'clock you already finished the damn game. So it's something like that, it's a very quick game to finish, and it is not even that hard, in my opinion, so it's kind of easy. 
And also, to be even more worse, this game only offers four weapons throughout the entire game. Which you already get access to all of them in this specific level, which is the second level. So, I'm kind of disappointed with uh, the length of the game and also the offer of the, the offering of the, the weapons that you have. It seems a little bit limited. Uh, I, I don't know what was their objective. And for some reason, it is really hard to recommend. I think it is nice if this game gets included in st stuff like Humble Bundle or Bundle Stars. Any kind of bundles where you buy the bundle and you get uh, kind of a 4, 6 or 7 games. This is the type of game that fits really well inside those bundles because it's a game that you will spend your afternoon playing it and you will even enjoy it. The game it is fine, the movement it is awesome, the soundtrack it is nice it is just too damn short and doesn't really offer too much uh, too much weapons or too much enemies so it's a, a perfect game to include inside a bundle to include inside the xbox game pass or anything like it because it's a quick game to finish it is a good game though but still lacks a lot a lot of lengths and a lot of weapons and a lot of a lot of enemies. So, guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about. Elbound. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.